AMC Tiny 2019 Problem 17. You have this child building a tower using 8 cubes of the 9 cubes that he has, which are 2 red, 3 blue, and 4 green. And we're trying to find how many distinct possibilities there are from distinct towers mentioned within the problem. So this question is a very, very classic uh, combination question, because or permutation question rather, because it's distinct. And this question actually appears so often that it should come as second nature to you, likewise to the previous question of, on this AMC test, to how to solve it. So let's begin. We have nine cubes and we only want to use eight of them. So that means that we must at least exclude one of them, as mentioned within the question. But if we leave out one of them, what possibility can this one cube be? It can either be red, blue, or green, because he has three colors to work with. And since each color is distinct from another, meaning that if we exclude one cube from the other, it will not affect the possible outcome of the rest, this is casework. Because we have three separate cases. If this excluded cube is red, if this excluded cube is blue, if this excluded cube is green. So that's why I know it's casework. And casework, we sum each case. So let's call red, if we exclude the block to be red, to be case one, this to be case two, and this to be case 3, when we exclude a green. And that's not base, this is supposed to be case. So we can begin with case 1, when we exclude a red cube. If we, if we exclude a red cube, how many blocks do we have to work with? We have 1 red, 3 blue, and 4 green. And this sums to 8, so we are sure that we are still matching the criteria of building a tower of height 8. And how many distinct possibilities are there? Well, we're trying to find 8 a tower with eight with eight sections. So we have a total of eight sections to fill. And when thinking about this question, don't think of it as a tower from up to down. Think of it as a line tower from left to right, because this is much more e easily visualized and easily drawn out. So we have eight selections. And these eight selections are trying to be filled with a certain color of a cube. So that is why we have eight factorial, because we have eight possible slots that each cube can fill. But what about the denominator? What do we divide it by? What we divide it by is the number that we're overcounting with. And what is overcounting? Overcounting just means you overcount a possibility more than it actually occurs. So in the case of the red cube, how many positions can it fill? Well, if the red cube fills here, it cannot fill any other positions so that the combination where red is in this slot is distinct from the rest. So we can say we must divide this by one factorial, the total number of positions that red can fill. And this will become apparent while we do this when we multiply this with three factorial, the possible, the possible slots that blue can take. But why do we need to multiply in this case? Well, this is represented within this image. This blue block can fill the position of this blue block, but this, but this rearrangement will not affect the uniqueness of this possible outcome because the possible outcome is still in this format. It did not change the uniqueness and the pattern for which each color occurs. So we cannot say that if we move this blue block over to this position, that we will create a distinct tower. Therefore, we must divide the three factorial that this cube can occupy along with the rest of the cubes. This cube can occupy this space, this space, or the third space. But no matter where it fills, it's still resulting in this combination. It's not changing it. So that's why we must divide it with the three factorial. And we multiply it because of the fundamental counting counting principle. And now we have the four green cubes that we're excluding. We have four green cubes that we must consider. And that is the same case for why we need to multiply it by four factorial as why we did it for blue. This green cube, for example, can occupy the position of here. But that will not change the uniqueness of this combination because it will still be red, red, blue, 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 green, 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 green. So we have to divide it by the four possible positions that either of these cubes can fill. And now we can multiply this out to find case one. So this is the same thing as, <coughs> excuse me, eight times seven times six times five over three times two. Three times two is six, cancels with six. Five times eight is 40, times seven is 280. Case one, we have 280, but what about case two? Case two is the same. Case two, we excluded one blue. So how many cubes do we have to work with? We have two red, we have two blue, and we have four green. Two plus two plus four sums to eight, so we're still matching the criteria. And that is the same possibility. We have eight factorial, the eighth position that we can fill, and we must delete the recurrences that we're overcounting. 
because that's the same logic for why we did it. We're multiplying this with the certain denominators that we did in the first place. So with the same logic, this becomes 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 over 4. And 4 goes into 8, 2 times, 2 times 5 is 10, times 42 is 420. So case 2, we have 420 possibilities. But what about case 3? Well, case 3 is the same process. Case 3, we're excluding 1 green. So we have 2 red, we have 3 blue, and we have 3 green. 2 plus 3 plus 3 sums to 8, so we're still having a power of height 8. And we have 8 slots to fill, but as again, we, we count the positions that this red can do because we're trying to find distinct possibilities we must get rid of overcounted combinations so this becomes two factorial times three factorial times three factorial in other words the positions that each color block can fill this becomes eight times seven times six times five times four all over two times three times two and two times three is six cancels with this six and two times four becomes two times five is ten seven times eight is fifty six times ten is five sixty so we have counted each case total scenarios. For case 1, we have 280. For case 2, we have uh, 420. And for case 3, we have 560. And case 1 is when we remove one red, this is one blue, and this is one green cube. And since this is casework, we must sum each case. And why is it casework? Because this block that we're removing might be any one of the three colors. But no matter what we remove it from, it contributes to the to the total number of possibilities that this tower can result to. So we must sum them up and as casework. So 280 plus 420 plus 560 would be our solution. This can be summed up to be equal to 700 plus 560 to get 1260. And when we scroll up, we can find a solution that has 1260. And I see here that answer choice D has 1260. So answer choice D would be our solution.